at the characteristics. This is basically talking about the characteristics of product that we go global. The products are items the promoter intends to sell in the export market. This is the focal point in growing global. The success and failure of business depend on whether or not the product is export ready. All right. The readiness of a product for the global market depends largely on the quality specification, the unique selling point that distinguishes from others in the export market, the labeling requirement, the quality of packaging material, the sophistication of the production process, and the secrecy of formula and consistent use in the production process. The quality specification have to do with value delivered by the good vis-a-vis -vis the expectation of the consumer. For a product to meet quality specification, it must conform to a set of standards set by the importer, the final consumer in the export market, and regulatory agency in the importing country. The set of standards depends on the nature of the goods. When you say a product is of high standard, what are the set of standards? When you say a product has standard, what do you mean by standard? Number one, performance. Now, when you say a product meets standard, what exactly does that statement mean? That the product meets standard. What does that mean? Does that mean? Number one, that means the product perform. The product do what it's supposed to do. Or reliability. How often does the product fail to do what it's manufactured to do? If I buy garlic from you and the garlic have sand, that's no more food. It's not performing the function of a food. Durability. How long? Can the consumer use it? What is the best before date, expiry date? For the gari, for example, it has to be in, inside a nylon, inside a sack. So you need to put a nylon. So either you get a sack that is nine with a nylon to prevent water from penetrating, or you get a, a, a nylon, put it inside, seal it, and put this nylon inside the sack and seal it. Serviceability. How easy is it to fix the product when, it require, when required? Aesthetic. How attractive does it look? Features. What are the things that the product is capable of doing? Another very important feature of a product that is deemed ready for the export market is the uniqueness in terms of the cost and the value it delivers. Rarity of the characteristics and benefit of a product increases its readiness for the export market. The sophistication, 